Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Susie Selleck, and today we are in Oldenburg, Indiana, and we're with Troy Ilderton. Troy, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Susie. Glad to be here. Yes, go, glad, glad to have you on a gorgeous day. Oh, it's perfect. So there is a beautiful structure behind us, the Maypole. The Maypole. Yes. The yes. <laughs> so wait, wait, how do you say it? They're my bomb. Oh, I, I, I was reading the sign. Yes. Oh, okay. That's your secret. So so who came up with the idea? Where did this come from? Uh, about two years ago, I was sitting in a meeting with the local Freudenfest committee. The Freudenfest is a festival we put on here locally. And I said, you know, it would be kind of neat to have, and I said, a maypole. And uh, about half the folks said, that's a great idea. And the other half said, what's a maypole? Okay. <laughs> so okay. we had to explain what it is. Uh, it's kind of a, it's, it's more popular in uh, Germany and Europe, uh, Bavaria, Austria. Uh, but you see those sprinkled throughout the countryside as you as you travel around and I'd seen quite a few of them when I was over there and I came back and thought Oldenburg needs to have one of these. Uh, what a great idea actually. So so what does it represent? There's a lot of significance on this. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Tell us. Yeah, so the Maypole to us represents everything that we love about the city of Oldenburg. Uh, we believe it's a unique and special place. Uh, the red and yellow barber striping paint represents the colors of Oldenburg, and then the shield artwork represents things in the town that are very important to us. The, the Corpus Christi March, which is a, put on by the local church here, it's been happening for 171 years now. Uh, uh, the, the fire department in Oldenburg, the Eagle Fire Company, uh, the town crest is on one of the shields. We've got local festivals represented, we've got agriculture, we've got the Franciscan Friars and the Sisters of St. Francis. So it's really a slice of everything in the town that is very important to us. Uh, one of them is uh, a shield that represents Morgan's Raiders' visit to Oldenburg during the Civil War. So You, 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 stole, you stole my question, that's not fair. But you, all right, so tell me about this because this is, this is cool, this is very cool. Well, I know I know we'll get into some more about Morgan's Raiders in a little while, but they were here during the Civil War. There's just some really interesting history that's happened here in the town of Oldenburg, and these are things that we thought we need to have something that captures all of that and puts it out on display, and that's what the Maypole represents to us. So I'm loving the pole, Troy, but tell me a little bit. Tell me about the artwork on, on the sides of it. So the artwork is, uh, you know, we, we created the shields, which are cut out of metal, obviously, and they hang on the side. We did the artwork. We had a local um, artist come in and help us do all that work. Uh, and it represents, uh, they're very symbolic representations of things in town and in the local area. So all of that artwork represents things like craftsmanship, local businesses, uh, agriculture, local festivals that take place, uh, you know, some of the Franciscan friars and those kinds of things. So that's what, that artwork kind of captures some of the history and some of the things that make uh, Oldenburg such a special place. So how long uh, from from kind of conception to completion, how long did this take to, uh, to do? Uh, it took about two years. Uh, from the time we started talking about it, it seemed simple enough. You buy a flagpole, you create some artwork, you hang it on the side. And what we found out was there's a lot more coordination than, than what we thought there was going to be initially. So, you know, from the time we started talking about it till we came up with uh, the kinds of things we wanted to put on the artwork to how are we going to barber stripe a 50-foot pole to those kinds of discussions, uh, it takes a lot of coordination and a lot of folks work really, really hard to get it done, but about two years from start to finish. Very cool. And you said you used a local artist as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Diana Recker Brunsman, she lives in the area. Um, she came in and did all the artwork for us, did a fabulous job. We had a gentleman up in Indianapolis, Nico Selm, kind of came up with the original concepts and then he had to step away and then she came in and finished for us and did a fabulous job with the artwork. Uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of work to put in to get that done and she did a great job for us. Yeah. So Troy, who, who helped on this project? So. There's a group of volunteers locally that puts on a festival called the Freudenfest, uh, the Freudenfest Committee, and mostly folks from that committee comprised the group that put the Maypole together. There were a couple folks in particular, uh, uh, I mentioned Diana Brunsman did a lot of the artwork for us. We had a gentleman named Dwayne Shetmer, Drip Shetmer, that did a tremendous amount of work in fabrication and welding, and uh, Randy Badel, who's a local contractor, did concrete work for us. It was just a, gr a great big group of folks that came together and did a fabulous job in getting this thing in place. So really, a hats off to them, they did a great job. Well, Troy, it certainly seems like you know your stuff. Now, are you, are you, are you a fluent German speaker? Uh, Bishen. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nice, nice. Well, you have, you have to teach me a couple good words here off camera. But, Troy, thank you for your time today. Um, you're Great a wealth you. of Welcome knowledge. All right. Thank you for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard, straight from Oldenburg, Indiana, here with Troy. Thank you again. Thanks for having me. And remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often.